everybody. Um, today we're gonna be unboxing um Pokemon cards. I have a bunch of packs that we just didn't get to, and it's a mixture of both um Lost Origin and Silver Tempest. So buckle in, and we're gonna go and open up these ones. Yep, we got four Lost Origins and four Silver Tempests. So we're gonna go and open these today. Let's start off with Lost Origins. There we go. And the reason we're doing this is because um, I want to finish off the, um, I want to finish off the packs we have here so we can get to the new stuff. Alright, so we got Metatite. Eh. Squovet. This is probably like the last time we're going to be seeing these. We can take our time. Gligar. Eh. Ventrum. I actually do like this one with the, all the... Like the swirling around. Like mystical wind or whatever. And then the city in the background. We have Pseudo Budo. Joust, before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tools from your opponent's active Pokemon. I wish they had some more of this stuff, because, like, Pokemon tools are starting to get, like, really weird now. Our Reverse Hollow is going to be a Gastrodon. And again, I love how they have the pink and the blue one, the two different kinds. There, and they're just chilling underneath the water. Let's see what our rare is. <gasps> Ooh, Galarian Perserker. Actually, we don't have this one yet. It looks pretty cool. It's I, I kind of like the 3D mixture of like the 3D like style that it's drawn in. For some reason it works for this one. Then you just have like rocks in the back and then the background's kind of that like eh, nondescript kind of thing. But you also see kind of like rocks flying out from his attack. So his attacks are feeling fine, draw three cards. Treasure Rush, 20 times. This does 20 damage for each card in your hand. Yo. And if I remember correctly, um, you don't have to have a correct hand size for, um, for Pokemon. I don't think there's a limit to how many cards you can have in your hand. So you can basically get, well, What's the, you start up with what, seven cards in your hand? Seven times two is 140. Eh, yeah, not bad. Um, electric energy. Oh, we get a Torkoal in the forest. Not like a rainforest, but like actual forest forest from like north well not a rainforest but yeah he looks pretty cool with his steam going from his nose and from the top of his shell
Arzu? Yep. And that's from Pokemon Arceus. Uh, search your deck for up to three evolution Pokemon that don't have a rule box. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Pokemon V and Pokemon GX have rule boxes. Yeah. Oregon 2. Oh, you get to see all the little the skyscrapers. I don't know what that circle is. There like a dome or something around the city? Garbage attack. Uh, 20... X. This does 20 damage for each Pokemon tool card in the Lost Zone. Eh. And then you guys get the code. seconds and then we're going to open up the next one um all right i'm kind of anxious today and i kind of want to finish these off so yeah we're gonna just gonna continue. If you guys grab the codes, let me know. Oh, I forgot. We forgot to do. Whoop. Give me a few more seconds there with that one. We got all the little Pokemon at the bottom of the screen. I forgot about those. Alright. We have Ducklet in 3D form. Uh, oh, okay. We got Flipbug in crocheted form. Again, I don't like either of those, so fast forward through those. Finian. Finian. Ah. Oceanic accomplish. A compliment? As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a water energy brand to one Pokemon that has the attack swim freely attack huh. and water gun for 10 and I also I do like I don't like the, the bluish green kind of like top oh no these are like trees it's like underwater and like a thin stream or something because you got the sand there and you got like the like a very, yeah, it's like on a, in a stream. You've got the trees up there. Pretty cool. Zora. Collect, draw card, mumble for 10. And it's just sitting there in a bush somewhere with a fire. It's like, it's like inside the bush because you see all the, like, the, tr the bush stems and stuff going up into the air and stuff it's pretty cool hmm. and you got fireflies around he's a cute little pokemon oh we got paris climbing on trees with mushrooms on the sides of it going all the way up looks cool because he's like again um from when we looked at mischievous 
with the with like the spooky shading with like the mist so, like you can tell like that's further away because this is kind of like it also has a little bit of a mist going on and it's just not it's just um it's fading out into the background with that with that white I do like that our reverse hollow is a Raichu Thunder Shock for 30. Flip a coin of heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. A Spark, 100 plus. If you used your V Star power, this attack does 120 more damage. That's 240, or 220, sorry. It's actually a really good. That's a really good thing. That's a really good move for three. For three energies for that? That's not bad. And our rare is going to be Clefable. I don't think I've had a Clefable in a very long time. Um, all your Pokemon take 30 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Dragon Pokemon. After applying weakness and resistance. You can't apply more than one Spirit Charm ability at a time so basically you can't stack this it's only 30 even if you have more than one i do like the cherry blossom flowers going around and it's just standing up on its toes it's trying i think it's trying to catch that one that's falling right in front of it just such a cute, cute little cafable Fighting energy, panic mask, but all damage done to this Pokemon, this, done to the Pokemon this card is attached to, by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon with 40 HP or less remaining. Hmm. Sea draw, swim freely, flip a coin. If heads during your opponent's next turn, but all damage and effects from attacks done to this Pokemon. Hydro Jet. This attack does 20 damage, 20 your opponent's Pokemon for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. Your opponent's Pokemon. So, like, this is the card that, um, the Finian. Finian. Ah! Where is it? So, like, that's exactly what this card was meant to do. It was supposed to with this one so you can put any any amount of water energies onto this card if this card's in play so you can like boost the attack up of the hydro jet by like so much you don't even need to use swim freely um right on Orange Jewel 30, take down 120, but this Pokemon also does 30 damage to itself, and that's not good. Yeah. The art is kind of like flat, but I do like it. It's, it has very nice board. Well, the borders have been like completely erased from some of it, and it's just shadow and just like shape. There's no borders, really. It. And I think I like that style a little bit. Hm. And there we go. Next code. And so... You know, the reason we're doing this is because I want to get rid of all these extra packs that I have lying around. They're not... There's only four each, and I thought four each might be a little bit too small of a thing to do for, like, a stream or something. But 
since we have two two sets of four, we well, we make it. We can make it work. So, um, here we go. Next one. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and move a little bit faster through these because again we're gonna be. I don't really, I don't really know what we're going to do after this, but I think I might have dinner. So let's keep it going. So we got Litwick in like the model, like 3D form. Pretty cool. We've already seen a lot of these before anyways. Um, so that's why I'm going to move a little bit faster. Uh, Rhyhorn, kind of like in the same area as the Rhydon, except it's a little bit different style, and the camera, uh, I don't know, it's facing upwards instead of flat on. There's a little bit more detail too. Do it. Um, eh. Apom. This is the white trees, the snow forest, and that's in Pokemon Arceus. Um, yeah, yeah, they're playing around. They're having fun. The smiles on their faces. <laughs> Roselia. This one's a little bit flat too. And I don't know. It's got like a radiance around it. White outline almost. You can kind of see it like going around the flowers the most. Gumi. And again, this one's Pokemon Arceus, because you can see the you can see the little storm on top of the mountain. Ooh, our reverse hollow is a uh, cremorant. Lost provisions. If you have four more cards in the lost zone, ignore all energy in this Pokemon's attack cost. attack damage isn't affected by weakness but innocently so like if it's a fire and they have a weakness it doesn't do 220 that's weird so you want to kind of I don't know when you'd have that That'd be kind of like something that you'd keep for like removing like I don't know just removing basic Pokemon um like if you're fighting someone and all they have is basic Pokemon this would probably be something I don't know 110 damage without weakness that's weird all right, and let's see what our rare is. Oh, we got a Snorlax. I don't think we've had a Snorlax in Lost Origins yet. Unfazed Fat. Prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. Damage is not effect. So like poisons, burns, paralyzing, um sleep sleeping um all right so yeah all right thumping snore for 180 this pokemon is now asleep during your pokemon checkup flip two coins instead of one if either one of them is tails this pokemon is asleep still asleep okay Wait, no, I think we do have one of these because I remember 
trying to explain that this card would be good with a Pokemon tool that allows sleeping Pokemon to still attack. But for 180 damage, that's actually really broken because you can knock out a lot of things with 180 damage for 180. Eh. As for the card itself, see the Snorlax sleeping there on a bridge, just like he would in the games. He's blocking the way. And then you get to see like trees and the roots, the the, the the sidewalks and the roads coming in from a distance right there. And he's just sleeping there. He's a happy boy. Mm -hmm. And fire energy, gloom with some like weird picture psychedelic stuff and I don't know I don't know about this one I don't really like it I'm gonna say that of heads of if heads during your opponent's next turn prevent all damage and effects done of attacks done to this Pokemon and then waterfall for 120 so Finneon can also with its effect it can also place energies on this one so pumping this guy up with energies is not that hard and for 120 damage that's not bad Gate. Um, you can only use this if you have seven more cards in the Lost Zone. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards of different types and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. In any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. And then you guys get... Code. Remember to um, let me know when you got the code because we can start up the next one. Now this is going to be the last Lost Origins card or pack we have. We're going to open this up. Cool. And just see what we got. This will probably be the last Origins uh, pack I get. Um, because that series is done. Okay, so we got Horsey. With a cute sitting there in the clam. Mawile. in a cave with a bunch of gems and wine at it, I think. I think that could be like from a Sableye. Uh, tempting Trap. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon you can't retreat. During your next turn, the defending Pokemon takes 90 more damage from attack. Cool. Even if while while's knocked out, you, the defending Pokemon still takes an extra 90 more damage. Not bad. I was actually expecting it to be dark too, because that's normally a dark type. Someone screwed up on the typing. I 
if I'm not mistaken. Um, Shellos. Um, Shellos. You got the pink and the blue on there, which I really like. This is like the first Shellos and um, Gastrodon are like the first ones where you actually get to see like the variants of like the different um yeah the different variants of like the pokemon because there's like two different colors from them? uh yeah the pink and the blue and normally and it's actually different designs too because this one's like got the circle thing and then this one's got like a wavy hair hairstyle or something and same with the fins. This one's spiky and that one's not. And you get to see the differences. It's just not color. Which I like. Binacle. And so yeah, it's on a, on a lake or something that the water's receded. You see the dock there. And everything else it's low tide all right working with that ah no all right we got porygon in cyberspace with all the little squares and everything surfing like it's surfing cyberspace on that on that path i guess Kamala is our reverse hello. If this Pokemon is asleep and is knocked out by damage from an attack, your opponent's from your opponent's Pokemon, your opponent can't take any prize cards for it. Collapse. This Pokemon is now asleep. Hmm. And again, um if you have that card, that Pokemon tool that allows sleeping Pokemon to attack. That's great. And our rare is gonna be... Ah, Spiritum. We got a whole bunch of these. And I know that, and I even know that we have a bunch of these, so it's like... Ah, so you know it's bad. Curse message. If this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, search your deck card and put it into your hand then shuffle your deck hmm. um spirit of chain uh, chain of spirits 10 plus this deck does 60 more for each spiritum in your discard pile so in theory you can only raise this attack to you can only have four copies but one has to be in play in order for you to use this so three times 60 is 180, 190. You can only do 190 damage with it. It's not bad, actually. But still, you'd have to get all these in your discard pile. Psychic. Oh, we got Lampet here. And again, this is another one without any, like, very thin outlines. I don't want to say no outlines at all. You don't have any outlines on this fire going around. You have some outlines on housing and some of it on the Pokemon. But I kind of like the fire flame, the green aqua kind of like fire flame and also the orange and the yellow without any kind of like outline. And I kind of like that. We got Dotler. Area attack for 30. Um, during your next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. Okay. Is can draw two cards if you if your uh, if your active Pokemon has Isulian in its name, draw more cards. And then you guys get one of those. So the thing I'm starting to like more, I'm trying to figure it out more uh, about the new set, Scarlet and Violet. 
is that it? As the rares at the very end. And I'm seeing that now. I'm going back to it. I saw it. I liked it. And now I'm going back to these ones. I don't like it. Oh, I mean, I don't like the way these cards are working. Where the rare card is in the center. I mean, I guess it was done to kind of like prevent. Um, prevent things from. It was to prevent the cards from being bent or damaged. But because of the way they were packaged. It didn't really help. A lot of these cards are still scratched um and so yeah all right next we're going into silver tempest so yeah we got four more packs of silver tempest this is pack number four or pack number one out of four toge demaru Okay, and this is the one that has like three other cards that follow it. Um, or like doing an ultimate attack or something. Flip a coin. If heads during your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is knocked out, your opponent can't take any prize cards for it. That's cool. And I do like the little mouse. Like, doing his, like, closing his eyes. And, like, a forest bubble around it. That's cool. Oh, Esper. And it's in... Um... Yeah, what needlework is this? Um... Crocheting. A crocheted Esper. And I don't really like the crocheting. <clears throat> I don't really like the crocheting um, cards. So, eh, it's alright. Smear goal. He's running away with the paint. <laughs> with his paintbrush. Kale. Leaving paint behind. All for Pollock. Look at the top five cards in your deck. You may attach any number of basic energy cards you find there to one of your Pokemon. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. That's pretty good. For one energy, you can search and reset the top five cards, basically. Litten. Yeah. Scared little kitty cat in the corner of the room. I guess that's where the door is too, because you can kind of see like the door there. It's also got windows. Mm -hmm. Got a little. It's in a swamp marsh where you got, it's sitting on a tree that goes into the water along with the lily pads. Pretty cool. <gasps> our, our, our reverse hollow is actually a Radiant Jirachi. Look at that. Woo. And trust wishes. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, search your deck for up to three cards, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Astral Misfortune. Flip two coins. If both of them are heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. Wow, that's actually very wow. Um no damage but instant knockouts. That's pretty cool. Um and if I recall in Sword and Shield, there is a card that allows you to redo flips. So That's pretty good. 
And as for the Jirachi in the picture, it looks pretty good. I kind of wish it wasn't all foil. And you can actually see like the nice, I love this ocean with the star, with the star sparkles and everything else, like the reflections. It even match, I think this even matches the sky that they're doing with it. And the little uh, lightning bugs and the grass by it. Those are so cool. Um, and wait, did they get the shiny version of Jirachi? I think they did, because I think Jirachi is supposed to be green. Those those tabs, those orange tabs are supposed to be green, and I think they they swapped it. Wait, let me look that up. Jirachi. Yeah, those tabs are supposed to be those tabs are supposed to be green. And they're red. So they got like the reverse color. They got the shiny version of Jirachi out here. That's actually pretty cool. And our rare is gonna be a Frostlass. Frostlass. Cool. We haven't got one of these before. Frosty Jail 20 plus. If you played Candace from your hand during this turn, this attack does 90 more damage and your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. All right. And then Frost Breast for 60. I actually do like this. So like, I think this card is like a one-off, but at the same time, um, because it only of the, the Candace thing. Um, because the Candace increases it by 60 or by 90 and paralyzes it. So like 60 or well, 90 more, that's 110. And then the 60, well, if, if it survives, it can do another 60 the next turn. And basically it would not count most Pokemon in two turns. Hopefully the paralyzation kicks in and so you don't actually get hit with anything. But yeah. And but I love the snow mountains. The trees. The cold wind air that's like blowing through. You can get to see it there. You can see all these like little lines. White lines of the wind. That's pretty cool. Fire energy. Professor La uh, Laventon. But three Pokemon that have Isulian in their names from your discard pile into your hand. Alright. Track Loak. Ah. Stage 2 version. You can see the Dreepy sleeping on top of it. Kind of cute. Hmm. Matang. Bullet Punch for 30 plus, flip two coins. That does 30 more damage for each heads. Alright. And I don't really like the background that much because there's no detail. It's all a blur because I think it's going from like the Pokemon, like taking the view from the Pokemon and it's just like running straight at the uh, Pokemon that's attacking. Well, it's an opponent. Something. And you guys get a code. packs to go um I don't know 
what we're gonna do... Nah, I'm thinking dinner. Probably, probably leave, then dinner, then we'll come back tonight with either Calico, uh, playing a game, Calico, or, um, come back with, uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland today. Alright, so we got Rotom. We got Dreepy. Eh, I don't like this version of it. Oh, it looks like a Hoot Hoot, maybe. You can kind of see the... in the reflection. Like, you got the wings, the kind of like claws coming out. Got Vulpix, lovely Vulpix, running across the uh, stone wall, and you got the flowers behind it. Oh, Emolga in the park when all the flowers are blooming around the entire park, and you got some Pokemon pollinating the flowers. Chimeco. And it's there on a stormy day. You see all the clouds in the back. And it's underneath a rock formation. And it's just like, it gives off this thing where, again, brings me back to my childhood where we had um, a bunch of like um, chimes on the back porch. And. Right before the storm, you'd hear them all go off. And that was... That was wonderful. The smell of rain. Hmm. We got Sunkern. Oh! This is our reverse hollow, this is our Sunkern. Happy little boy. Just frolicking in the forest looking right next to some flowers and the sun's beaming brightly down and our rare is gonna be <gasps> Ooh, we get a dragonite i don't think we got a dragonite yet from this series cool he's above an ocean looks like it's about to have a storm which makes sense, energy hurricane. So probably hurricane in the back. Okay, so for 180 damage, uh, four energies, 180 damage. Search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. And shuffle your deck. Oh my goodness, that's actually really attach it to your Pokemon in any way you like. So that can be multiple Pokemon. So you can like attach one to something, attach one to another, and attach one to another. Or two and one, or yeah. One and two. Um <laughs> or just put all three on one. That's kind of kind of broken I would think. Well it costs four energy so you actually have to have Something, uh, you have to have it prepared, and it does 180 damage, so it can knock out most things, including some Pokemon V, the low end Pokemon V cards. That's not bad. There he goes, he's a fine. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like he stopped when he was in midair. I'm just looking at something. I wonder what it is. But, eh. Oh, we got V Star Energy. Who are you? Riso. Risode girl? Uh, 
search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench and shuffle your deck. You may switch that Pokemon with your active Pokemon. Oh, so this is just... Hmm. I'm betting this will go good with something. I don't know. Wait, this does Oh, this is a special summon, or I want to say special summon, but like, this is special. This isn't a normal... No, you still have to wait a turn before it can evolve, though. So that really brings into question why you would do this. Unless it's like for, um, Kamala. No, Kamala needs two energies to use its ability. I don't know. I don't know when you would use this. Mm -hmm. Although it is, you may switch that Pokemon with your active Pokemon. So it could just be another, just get it out onto the field kind of thing. I don't know. Low Punny. And you got Smash Kick for 30, Double Kick for 100 times. Flip two coins, this does 100 damage for each heads. And then you got it just doing its Double Kick, I guess, into the ground or something. And you get to see the wind blow away from the force of impact. Distorting all the air around it Because those would be trees and more trees back there. So you're looking at it from below hmm. Quad stone uh, You may use four quad stone cards at once if you use one card heal 10 damage from your active Pokemon if you use four, heal all damage from each of your Pokemon. Hmm. And then you guys get a code. We got two more packs to go, so I'll give you guys a few seconds here. on and I don't know what we're gonna do hope we get some other good stuff we've been getting really good stuff so far we've been drawing a lot of like good rares and just different stuff that I haven't seen before To these ones um i'm just gonna put it out there the newer packs from scarlet and violet they feel so much better these they feel thicker these pack than these packages from silver tempest which i don't know is a good thing or a bad thing i think it might be a good thing because it helps with protection more Sand Isle. Aww, he's playing in the sandbox. <laughs> Gotta miss that one. Oh, we got the, um, crocheted version of Swirlix. It's got a bunch of, like, different kinds of, like, cotton fabrics dyed. Or I'm assuming it's cotton. I don't think it's anything else because of the fluffiness um, that it is. Other synthetic fibers are more shiny. Hmm. 
cotton's also probably the cheapest one, so. Marini? That was clear that that one was from Sun and Moon. Because you got the tropical palm trees sticking out there. It's also, it's probably like in a tropical waters or something. Because it's a jellyfish. Or, not a jellyfish, it's um... It called I forget what kind of like sea creature it is, but he's not really good with cold. If I remember correctly. Oh yeah. All right. We got Intiti bowing slightly at the front door of the house, next to like the flower beds. I love the fact that they did flower beds there, as you can like see so many. What have they got? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, like six different types of flowers there. And then like the plants, there might be like one or two more that are like just leaves that are just leaves. And um, yeah. Hmm. I like the fact that it looks happy there. Oh, we got, um, Urisode girl. Uh, in, um, in a reverse hollow form. Is gonna be a Metagross. Ooh. Huh. Once during your turn, if you drew this Pokemon from your deck at the beginning of your turn and your bench isn't full before you put it in. Wait. Once during your turn, if you drew this Pokemon from your deck at the beginning of your turn and your bench isn't full before you put it into your hand, you may put it onto your bench. If you do, draw three cards. So you basically don't, if you draw it from your, if you draw it, um, if you draw it on your draw phase, you basically get to put it out for free. You don't need to evolve it. Meteor Mash 100. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Meteor Mash attack does 100 damage or more. This, wait. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Meteor Mash attack does 100 damage or more damage. So that's 200 damage. So. Well, it's 100 the first time, 200 the second time. Does it increase? Because I'm like, does it increase 100 for each one? So would the third attack be 300? I am very confused on that ruling. Because like at a certain point, if you're, if that does continuously add up, that'd be ridiculous. Um, so yep, we got him. He's just running super fast. I guess he's charging. <laughs> hmm. looks like. Okay. Fire energy. Regenerative energy. As long as this is attached to a Pokemon, it provides one colorless energy. Eh, provides one colorless energy. When you play a Pokemon from your hand to evolve, the Pokemon via this card is attached to heal that one Pokemon. You'll heal 100 damage from that Pokemon. That's not bad. Duosian. Ah. I do love this one. He's just... He's a very happy little Pokemon. He's like... He's got the little, like... The... 
the U-shaped eyes. His mouth's open, I guess. I guess that's his mouth. Oh yeah. He's levitating books in the coffee. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cute. Not cool. Um, B guard energy. As long as this card is attached to Pokemon, it provides this energy. The Pokemon this card is attached to takes 30 less damage from attacks from your Pokemon from your opponent's Pokemon V. This effect can't be applied more than once at the same time to the same Pokemon. Hmm. So like if if you had two of them if you had two of these energies and one was on the Pokemon out and one was on the bench, you could technically prevent the 30 damage if it does like to like bench Pokemon and the active Pokemon at the same time. But it can't be on two of these on the same Pokemon would be completely worthless. Unless you really needed that energy. And then you guys get code Woo. And we got one more pack and then we'll be done and so yep and so for the rest of yeah so the rest of the day i plan on just going to dinner or getting dinner and then maybe I don't know, cooking dinner and then i don't know trying to figure out what i'm gonna do um well no i said i was gonna do 10 teams wonderland or calico afterwards and so, yeah. And I'm glad we're doing, like, I'm catching up on, like, my Pokemon cards and stuff. Because we have so much. And I have nothing prepped for my YouTube. So, like, every time I make one of these streams, I also put it up on YouTube. And I kind of like to have like one or two videos in advance, like a week in advance. And the Pokemon cards are kept, like, I don't have them in advance. And so, like once a week I would, you know, like once a week like I do here, um, normally I would have like Pokemon out. But I don't have anything in advance, so I'm catching up on that right now with this. Anyways, um, back to the cards. We have uh, Sandy Guest. And you see there's a shovel in its head, and it's just a sand Pokemon. And I like the kind of like the tropical flowers there. The sun in the sky, and you even got like little shells and rocks around the beach area. Lucha. Allure draws two cards. Aerobatics. 30 plus. With two coins. This attack is 20 more for each heads. And he's just sitting there on the branch. I don't know. I don't find this one interesting. It's a nice design, but eh. I like this design better. It's on the Relicamp. And so it's just swimming along the bottom of the ocean. And you can tell it's an ocean because how deep the blue is in the water. And the fact that it has like giant rocks, so you know it's not a stream. Um, <laughs> and you got like a little bit of coral, but not a lot, which indicates that it's deeper in the 
in the ocean. Then you got Rufflet right here. He's flying in a port city. Probably gonna get something to eat from like a fishing boat or something. Or a fish himself. Then we got Vulpix again. Ooh. Walking on that stone fence. Or stone wall. Our reverse hollow is gonna be a ooh, a V guard energy. Mm -hmm. We're getting a lot of these energies, a lot of these trainer cards for that. And our last rare card is gonna be Frizion. And he's just standing there with the sun behind him. And you see the wind blowing with the leaves in the wind. You also see the forest behind him. Four is one if Cobalion, Terracon, and Kalido. Kelido. Alright, Keldo. Ah! Are on your bench. This is 70 more damage. 90 damage and then leaf drain for 50 heal 20 damage from his pokemon Not bad. we got psychic energy as our energy i was kind of hope wait no we did get the evolved form of him um the anorinth was a rare that we got last week that's pretty good um drop fossil drop 30 plus you may discard an unidentified fossil card from your hand if you do so this attack is 120 damage more that's actually pretty good and you would probably pair that with the relicant that we saw before because you can pull those out of your discard pile See the Oma Star back there with the spike shells. And I forget what the Lilla. Oh. I forget what those are called. But you got them here. Eh. And I do like these ones. I like the fossil one. I like the fossil Pokemon like kind of the best because they have like better designs. I think people in the Pokemon world limited them. Mm -hmm. And they're mysterious, and you can only get like one of them. Oh, so that's pretty cool. Speaking of unidentified fossils. Yep. We have these. So you got Ammonite, you have Carry or Kratos or no Karyos. You got the new one, I think. No, that's Gen. I forget what Gen that is. That's not Sword and Shield, because Sword and Shield is something else. That's like... that's I think that's Sun and Moon. And then that one... I don't know what that one is. Eh. And I'm wondering... Okay, so I'm wondering this. Okay, so as I read this card... Play this card as if it were a 60 HP Pokemon. 
Uh, at any time during your turn, you may discard this card from play. This card can't retreat. So if you discard this card from play, does that mean it technically fainted? Or did you um, just like absorb like whatever damage? And that's confusing to me. Because like you can just like block things with it. And then just have no trainer curb pulled from your opponent's side when it goes to the graveyard. Like, that's a weird one. Cloud line? Cloud line? Eh. Yeah. Cal. Eh. Why? Cal. Yeah. Cal. This is the one that we just kind of like beat up on in Pokemon Arceus. Because most of my attacks are like steel. And so I just level up with these guys. Because like, the weakness is steel. Ah! Light for 60, big mouth for 130 plus. If you play Candace from your hand during this turn, this attack does 130 damage more. More damage. Ah. So 260. That's not bad. That's not bad for a... Uh... For a, for an uncommon card, but you gotta have that that Candice out, which I guess isn't impossible. You can have like four of them in the deck, and then you can have like some recycle cards that put uh, that either put it back to your hand and then, or put it back from your discard into your deck. Uh, yeah, no, that's probably the most useful. I think it might be a little bit overpowered if you can figure out how to work it right. Because 260 can knock out um, most Pokemon V. And even some Pokemon V Max, actually. So, like, that would that would probably be very good. And then you guys get the last code of the day. Oh man, I've been sitting too long today. And so with that, guys, um, I'm gonna slowly back out. Ah, actually, we're gonna clean up some before we back out. codes out there everyone to enjoy um if these codes aren't used feel free to use them this is everything from today hmm. take your screenshots do what you need to do um because in like a, a few minutes or a minute less than a minute we're gonna be going um and you'll never see these codes again i always get new codes every single week um whenever i open these are not reused these are not renewed these are the codes you get from the pack so um yeah Take your screenshots now. We're gonna be closing up in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, have a wonderful afternoon, evening, night, guys, and I will catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs>